Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Chaos? Uh, yeah, I knew that, definitely. Oh, I thought I finally had one up on you. Never. Huh, I can't wait to see, actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Yeah, just zoom in on my ever-smiling face of creepiness. Whatever. My one facial expression. To the Aether Foundation. Aether Paradise. So wait, what Pokemon are holding this place up? Is Lugia down there? My boy Lugia holding the place up on his back. Aether Paradise. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's a pseudo Wudo right there. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. I got a young goose as well. Okay. What is that person right there? What was wrong with their face? Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team work our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Oh, hey, it's this chick. I also remember you from the trailers. There's only, like, one unique person from the trailers we haven't met yet, and she also has to do with Aether Foundation, if I'm not mistaken. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Manager Faba. Now I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the President as well. Well, okay then. Just, like, pawn me off on this random woman. Probably not random to you, but random to me. Phew. Hi there. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Chaos and How. My name is Wick. Uh, nice to meet you. Wait, you know who we are. How do you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there, too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Yo, this place reeks of evil. Shall we zip right up there? Why not? And we're off. Why is this in the shape of the tri of a triangle? It's like one of the worst geometric shapes for a lifting system. Oh, hey, look, it's that it's that monkey thing. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Kill the Pikachu. Chaos, you and Howe are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Uh, I'm 11? Really? I felt older. I thought I was like 14. Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps. But he's way too strong. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Chaos, how? Would you two like to see the, con the conservation area upstairs? Oh yeah, sure, why not? Let's just zip right up, yeah. Honestly, I want to just, like, get back to the island trials, but whatever. And here we are. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Dude, In would love it here. Can we have In show up? Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. And we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example, they are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called to Toxapex. They probably deserve it. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Ew. 
Yeah, my gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side. Sure, is it gives its, it gives us blessings. Words. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Obviously not. Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. They are definitely evil. But why do you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. Yeah, where's she at? This is probably where we're going to meet the first Ultra Beast. I cannot go this way. There's a Sudowoodo there. Where, oh, where is Lusamine at? Where are you hiding? Where are you at? Show yourself. Gotta be over here somewhere. Down this way? That leads back around. I've gone in a huge circle. She's gotta be this way then. Surely. Tell me. Regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? Yeah, sure. Yo, speaking of tans, we still haven't run into tan Professor Oak yet. When are we gonna meet tan Professor Oak? I wanna meet that guy. Where is Lucimine at? Here she is. Lucimine, Lucimine, whatever her name is. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love and my, like, giant guardian hair. Basically functions as a cape. Hello. You must be Chaos and Hal. Welcome to Aether Foundation, the Aether Foundation's own private island. Or Aether Paradise, the Aether. Okay, yeah. I'm the president of the Foundation, p but please just call me Luzamine. Luzamine. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Luzamine is what I'm going with. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel to islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own uh, selfish reasons or even profit. Yeah, you're really starting to sound like N. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Yeah, yeah, I'm really getting some Team Plasma vibes here. Wow, Miss Luzamon. I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. What? You are. Definitely thought she was in her 20s, 30s at most. Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonder. Does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit wanting, huh? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. L like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look. Except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. Would uh, Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Uh, it depends on the adult. Also, we're having an earthquake on your manufactured false island. That tremor. Did something happen on the lower floors? I wonder. Oh, here it is. The first Ultra Beast. Hey, how's it going? Can I help you? Black screen? Hello? Oh, there we go. Did you come from another world? Very well said. Miss Luzamine, stand back. Luzamine, Luzamine, I, I don't even know anymore. That thing's not right. You poor creature. Yo, let's beat the crap out of it. That's what we do best. I'm taking you down. Let's go. Oh, I am going to fight it. Okay, sweet. Who am I leading with? Rowlet, right? And by Rowlet, I mean Dartrix. And by Dartrix, I mean Rylet. Oh my goodness, it totemed up. Of course you rose your defense sharply when I'm leading with a physical attacker. How dare you? Level 27. All right, we totally, we totally got this. Let's just start off strong with uh, Bloom Doom. Yeah. Let's doom you with some blooming. 
Not Psywave. Easy Chew. I'm on 69 HP, though. That means you have to surrender to me. Get him, Dartrix. I don't care how good his defense is. Bloom him to doom. Look at how beautiful it is. This beauty will destroy you. Oh my goodness, it chewed it. It legitimately chewed it. Are you psychic type? Let's see how much Astonish does. I want to scout your typing. Do -do. I'm going to need you to stop doing all that damage. Nope, not psychic. I'm not sure what type you are. But you know what I do know? I'm switching into Wishy-Washy, so I have a special attacker out here. Because this is clearly not working. What's up? Prepare to get schooled, fool. Venom shock? Are you a poison type? What type is this thing? I chewed that, though. Oh, you're not at half health yet. Dang it, Brian's not going to be, like, super strong. Whatever. You're definitely getting two hit KO'd regardless. Get brined. Oh, it's super effective. What type are you? Fire? There's no way you're fire. Bye. I outsped you that turn for some reason. Must have used a low priority move. Level 29, though. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's fading out of existence. Okay, yeah. That happened. The unidentified creature disappeared. Yeah, I noticed. So, it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Lou's of mine. Did you say something? Oh, she needs Nebby. What? Is it... That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. You guys saw that super demonic grin, right? I t look, there it is again. Totally evil. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looks like it was suffering, like it pained it to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it, and I will love it. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, she crazy. She cray-cray. We have to take her out. Wick. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go to check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. Code word for we're going to conquer the universe. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Alright, sweet. I still got like five minutes. We're definitely going to make it to the next island then. Dude, the amount of evil that she radiates is ridiculous. Have we ha ever had a uh, evil, like, team leader? We've had evil female admins before, sure. A lot of times, I'm pretty sure a lot of times you end up with more female admins than male. Team Galactic comes to mind. Although Team Plasma is like the antithesis to that, because Team Plasma was like six great sages, and they were all men. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some malasadas for how? So worthless. What do I get? Yes, big malasadas. Awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? That's not how that works. Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Chaos, a TM for the move Psychic. Sick! It's like a really good move. I wonder if any of the mons I have can even learn it. Yo, if Wishy Washy can learn that, that'd be great. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. I will attempt my best. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. There's no way that Lose Mine is over 40. I refuse to believe it. Co. My heart's still kind of racing, you know? The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real too. The world is just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island, too. Yeah, probably. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. 
Yo, keep your crumbs to yourself, dude. You want a malasada? Not from you, I don't. Oh my goodness, I took it. Why? Ah, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. Need to calm down, bro. Alright, on to the next island. We are going to the far left island last. Good to know. Ula Ula Island. This one looks pretty big, too. So probably two trials here? Or maybe that whole seven trial thing is something I made up in my mind and doesn't actually exist? Polipper. And by Polipper, I mean Pelipper. Is that the Tin Tower? Are we going to run into ho -Oh? Or is the Tin Tower... There was the Tin Tower and the Bronze Tower. Whose was which? One was Lugia's, one was ho -Oh's. I think Tin belonged to ho -Oh. I might have that backwards. Maybe Bronze was ho -Oh. Whatever. Land Ahoy. Alright, Terra Firma underfoot again. Alright, see you later, punk. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? I've got an idea, Chaos. Let's have a battle. Uh, why? I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of the, this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both of our teams are in fighting form first. Yeah, but I want to, like, change my starter, because I think I'm starting with my... No, I'm starting with Rallet, actually. I keep saying Rallet. It's not Rallet anymore. It hasn't been Rallet for, like, four hours of recording. Whatever. Yeah, you're leading off with Raichu. How did your Raichu become a Lola form when your Pikachu was normal form? Excuse me? Did you kill the Pikachu and replace it with, like, a pancake? You know what? It's fine. Just Razor Leaf it. Not Electro Ball. This thing can't be that much faster than me. This thing is way... has a lot of experience. I'm really upset that, uh... Okay, I can do this. Really upset that, uh... Richie is missing out on all this EXP. Alright, just hit this with Brine. Don't... Don't die. Live. You resist this. It's too easy. Now, Oko. Okay. Alright, that wasn't enough damage, but that's okay. I'm gonna heal you. Also, you're now, like, really weak. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Hyper Potion. No, Super Potion is enough, because it does 60 HP now. There we go. Does this put you back in school form? I hope it does. No, it does not. Oh, now it puts me back in school form. Okay. Gotta take the hit first. Alright, we should be set. Brine this fool. Easy chew. See you later, sucker. Level 30. I love it. Dive? Sure. I never use Helping Hand. I'm never going to. May as well. Dive just gives me another water type move, at least. Rylet is level 30. Cool, he might evolve. No, my school! That's fine, though, because Brion is going down. All I need for that is Rylet. Also, we're, like, well over an hour now. I need to finish this up. Brion, you're going down. You stand no chance, even though I'm low on HP right now. Brazer Leaf, go! Oh, I outspeed it. Awesome. Just crit and kill, please. That's good enough. I'm gonna chew this bubble beam. Absolutely chewed. Dang it, my speed! The one thing I had against you right now, other than typing. Ah, it's fine. I'm living this. Finish this up, Rylet. Raise a leaf! Easy knocked out. Alright, that, that Alolan Raichu was a serious pain, but it all worked out. Wah! I had my breath held that whole battle. What? Why are you so stupid? Ah, that battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? Alright, see you later, sucker. What are you- you've made it to Ulula Island now, big boy? Then why do you call me big boy? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Let's get to the Pokemon Center and then wrap up for today.
That's going to be all for today. We've made it to the third island. We also got to stop by the uh, Aether Paradise, so that's pretty good. Aether Foundation is definitely evil, 100% confirmed. But when we come back next time, we're going to get to work on the third island and get to these... We're going to go meet with the professor and then get to the trials and get them done, man. I assume since we finished two islands, we're roughly halfway through the game. Probably not exact science, but somewhere around there. So that's pretty good. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Until then, farewell.